So hello everyone. It is a blessing to be in the land of the living. So I thank God always and I give God the glory and honor for waking us all up this morning to waking our loved ones up this morning. Uh, so it is always an honor to give God glory and give him praise because uh, without him we are nothing. I just uh, thank God for the wisdom that he continues to pour into me so that I am able to pour out to you guys. Um, and, and as always, I thank uh, God for uh, choosing me uh, because without him, I am nothing. Um, and then I just, I just thank him um, for the way that he has been using me uh, to touch people's secret place. Um, it, it, it is truly a blessing to be able to come and um, to come in contact um, with, first of all, somebody who was raised as a, a Muslim and be able to touch their secret place. And even though they don't see the way that you see things, that you are able to touch them in such a way to show them that God is love. And even though they still try to do the dispute <laughs> the nature of who God is you still can continue to reach them and work in them to show the love of God every time and, and they'll continue to come back to you day after day after day because they see that light of God and that gentleness of, of God in you that they 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 they, they, they want to continue uh, to 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 uh, learn from from you and about you to understand what is it about you uh, that make you who you are and 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 then for each and every moment you can demonstrate the love of Christ to them and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost uh, a little choked up. And uh, a little emotional because it's not just uh, the the person who's a Muslim; it's just the the the, uh, the millenniums um, and how God is using me to even draw them, and for me um, to even draw them to me because you know uh, they're curious about me, and um, you never know. Where God is going to put you to use you to draw people nigh unto him. Because God is a drawer through you and the love in your heart that he has put there. And so I say to you that no matter what you're going through, you have an assignment on your life. God has placed an assignment on your life. And you can't be so focused on your marriage. You can't so be so focused on your, your spouse that you can't even see what God is trying to do in you. You can't be so focused on your children you can't be so focused on your family because you're supposed to cast the care of those children and your family members and, 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 and everything else on oh God because he'll take care of you. I promise he'll take care of you because it's something such greater, so much bigger than those things that God is trying to do through you. If you'll just humble yourself before him and allow him to use you. Because there's other people besides you, besides what you're going through, that are much broken than you are. And they just need to see the light of Christ through you. They just need to see God through you. They just need to see that there is something greater out there. 
They just need to see that. A person that don't even know them can be genuine, can show them a love that is so great and can tell them it doesn't matter what you did in your past. It does not control your future because God don't hold that against you. There is nothing in your past that can condemn you. There is nothing in your past that God holds against you. He's already forgiven you for it. God is much greater. Oh, he's so much greater. Than anything that you can ever face, that you can ever come up against, that you can ever have, than anything that you can ever have to deal with. He is so amazing. He's so amazing. And, 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 and the thing is, we get caught up in something that is so simple. Something is so little. Something. <laughs> <laughs> the guys already done figured out. It's the, just a matter of you just understanding how to operate in your faith and your authority. And once you release it, if you understand seed time harvest, the simple thing that somebody who was raised as a Muslim, somebody who was raised as a as a, 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 a apostolic as a um, as a a, 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 a a Pentecostal as as whatever religions they were raised up in because I was raised up as an apostolic but here's the thing they were they didn't have all the pieces. They lacked education. So a lot of people experience hurt as kids behind some of those religions. Um, and they pushed us away. They made us feel like, oh, we're not going back to that. But God is not a religion. God did not hurt us. It was the ignorance of the people God loves us he's merciful and he wants us to come back to him and understand him he wants that relationship and that is why he's using people like me and those who truly understand him and how to operate and his authority that he has given us to reign in the earth true love with those who will not judge his children but to teach them his pure love because I'm not here to judge anyone but I'm here to get you to understand that God is love and you are only defeated by the lies of the enemy and the things that you choose the idol over God and so I just wanted to share with you guys some of the moments that I have been experiencing while at work uh, with some of the people I've been encountering and also just to give you uh, a little nugget and uh, on how your seed time harvest is, is working. Uh, so you know how faith is, is, is working. It's like kind of like as a kid, you know how like um, when you as a kid so this is how those calling those things be not how the works I'm going to demonstrate it a little bit more on how you call those things uh, that be not as though they are you know um, as a kid you had I, you had a time where you had to be in the house before I know because I, I was I, in my generation you had your, your butt better be in before those lights came on or your mama was at that back door 
because you probably was the street over in the, the street over. She's at the back door calling. And she was calling you until your butt arrived at that house. Okay. And if you didn't arrive within a certain time, she was sending the older sibling to come and get you. Uh, or, and then if your sibling and you didn't arrive, she was calling to tell both of your butts arrive. But until you arrive, she was calling both of you. Or she was calling, but both of y'all was going to show up. So, see time how harvest, calling those things as though it be not as though they are. That's how that works. So, even though your mama was calling you, you was in existence. And you wasn't there at that house. But she had to call your name until you showed up, right? So, to call those things that are not as though they are, you're going to have to call those things according to the word of God until those things manifest themselves in the natural, okay? The way that your mama called you because she knew you was there because it's the promise of God that she's already brought you into this wor world because first you was a seed in her womb then she nursed you as a baby and, and then she grew you into a child that ran around in the streets after you got um, uh, home from school and you did your homework or whatever that was required in your home um, as a child uh, before you can go outside and play but anyway uh, as that 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 seed uh, of your your mama's uh, um, or uh, whoever raised you it don't matter but the rules apply the seed time harvest rule she had to call you to come home so when you gonna call those things that be not if you're gonna call your wife home you're gonna call your spouse home you gonna call that divorce nullified voided out canceled voided you gonna call that separation over you're going to have to call it Rabate as it is according to the word of God because it's called seed time harvest you can't call it the way you think you can call it it has to line up with the word of God because if it does not line up with the word of God it's not going to be able to come forward you can't call it the way that the world calls it you're going to have to call it the way that the word of God call it because angels don't understand man's term angels can only retrieve things according to the word of God so if you want it to work you're going to have to do your work and you're going to have to get in God's word you're going to have to fellowship with the Holy Spirit and you're going to have to let the Holy Spirit teach you the word and how to operate with the Holy Spirit how to operate in your authority how to operate in, with the word of God so that you can release your angels to retrieve the harvest so rabasanda, so you can have a divine intervention rabate kandoro shararakaya of the harvest take place in your life of the calling those things that are not as though they are because because the word tell you oh you can decree a thing in the earth and it shall be established oh, and the only way that you can decree a thing in the earth and for it to be established it has to be the word of God the only way you can decree a thing in the earth 
And for it to be established, it got to be the word of God. Now, here's the thing. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. You can say that I'm going through a divorce, that I am separated. Lord, I curse those words at the root for your children and command them to fall down to the ground and die because those are not your words. So we ward them out right now in the name of Jesus. You said you created them man and female. What you join together, let no man separate. So Lord, I thank you that you created man and woman in your own image. You said by your stripes, Horabasaya, Horabasaya, they were already healed. Lord, I thank you. That as you said, Lord, that the harvest is ripe. So, Lord, I thank you that because the harvest is already ripe. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Because the harvest is already ripe. The dirty of and the laborers are few. That I pray, Lord, that you will send forth the laborers into the harvest, God. Oh, ha, ha, yeah. Oh, Baba the Koya. For your children on today, God. Ha ha ya. Yeah, the Musanda. Oh, my God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I thank you for the harvest. Oh, yeah. The labor is for the harvest. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The robot, I thank you. Lord, I thank you that you called us for the Ohaya Sinamosoya. Borakati Sanarabasai. You called us for Urohoya. Urobasanda la Bosatakai. Lord, I thank you for sending your ministering angels for the harvest. Orobasandura Sharabasai. Lord, you know each who each and every spouse will listen to. And who they will hear, Lord. So I thank you for sending forth the labors for the harvest. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you have given us the king, keys to the kingdom of heaven. So, Lord, what we, ho ho, Rabbi say, what we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And what we loosen in the earth is loosened in heaven. So, Lord, I thank you. Oh, ho 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 Lord, horrible Sanda. That we bind up all the works of the enemy against your children marriages on today. Lord, we bind the works of the that's demons, demon. And all his workers of iniquity. And the spirit of death, Jezebel, God. The spirit of uh, perverse. Lord, we bind up every lying spirit, the spirit of separation, the spirit of divorce. The spirit of confusion, lying, deception. The argumentative spirit. The spirit of division. The spirit of manipulation, Lord, we bind it up right now in the name of Jesus. 
and we release every last one of your children and their spouses in the end of and even their children, children. For every last one of those spirits, Lord. Oh, Lord, we release Horobatata Release every last. We release the fruits of the spirit over your children today. God. The the uh, the the spirit of love, peace, joy, happiness, faithfulness, gentleness, whatever wholeness, rohotikaya, Lord, we thank you for the spirit of wisdom. Oh, shara, and Lord, and even and Lord, even faith. Lord, we thank you, Lord, ha, ha, for teaching us, uh, teaching our hands how to war, Lord, and teaching us how to pray, God. Lord, I thank you, God, for the wisdom that passes all understanding. So, ha, 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 say, Lord, ho, yeah. Lord, I thank you for each and every last one of your children on today, God. Oh, Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, thank you, thank you for this day because you are Lord and you are Lord alone. Lord, I thank you for your angels, Lord, that accompany me as I go, Lord. Ha, ta, na, ha, ya, la, bo, se, ke, ya. Ye, da, bo, sa, ta, ya, la, ke, te, se, te, yo, ya. Ro, ka, ta, sa, ya. Mere, se, kondo, ro, sha, na, ma, sa, ya. Eh, ba, 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 kondo, ro, sha, na, ma, sa, ya. Lord, I thank you that you are Lord, the Lord, King of Kings. You are the Great I Am. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, my God. God is. God wants you to use His words. He wants you to use His words. God is after your words, just like so. Oh, my God. When you use. God, where your angels are activated. You're assigned angels. You're assigned angels. <sighs> you were assigned angels. You were, oh my God, you were assigned angels. You were assigned angels. God wants you to use those angels. And uh, you gotta understand when you use to you, Hata, <laughs> you Messiah. Angels move according to the word of God. It's your, it's, it's, you are joint heirs with Christ. When you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, that is your birthright. And, it, it, and, and that gives you the authority over the enemy. Now, if you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then... I'm going to be honest. Your prayers ain't, ain't ain't even doing nothing. The enemy up there laughing at you. I'm telling you right now. Uh, first, you have to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Uh, you have to repent for your, of your sins and accept him as your Lord and Savior. And the thing is, you as a Christian, when you uh, when you make a mistake, you just have to have, ask God to forgive you. And though that stuff is covered under the blood. It's already covered under the blood. And God forgives those sins. But know that we both sin and fall short of the glory. And God forgives those sins. And so just ask them for forgiveness. And then go before him. For what it is that you need to go before him for. I just needed to release that for y'all. That was in, it was in my spirit to release that for y'all. God is is uh, molding me. He's growing me uh, for what He's calling me to do. He's He's using me, and I I I love it. I love what God has used me for because it's not a, just about this YouTube channel. It's about the ministry that He's He's using me for. It's about everybody. It's about everybody. It's not just about the prayer group uh, that he has me in. Because um, that's just it. It's a prayer group. Um, when people ask for prayer, um, we're there to pray for each other. 
Uh, but that that's it. Uh, my, my first heart is for God and what God is calling me to do right now. And in this present time, it's in the workplace. It's, he's using me in the workplace. I pray every night before I go to bed for the marriages. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm praying for the marriages and, and um, those in presidency and for all ministries. And um, I'm covering my family is the last thing that I pray for because I put everybody else before me because I'm a servant of God. Myself is last because that's what you do when you serve God. Put everybody else before you. Because it ain't about self. It's about everybody else. And uh, that's all I have for y'all. I love each and every last one of y'all. I love y'all. And I thank God for each and every last one of y'all who is uh, subscribing. May God keep y'all. And I'll continue to lift y'all and y'all families up in prayer. And don't be discouraged. Don't let your marriage and your spouse be an idol. Because what you idolize, you will lose. If you idol God, you won't lose nothing. I promise you. Put God first. It might look like you're going to lose something. But I promise you, you won't. If you idolize God, you won't lose it. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And keep y'all always.